So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to replace the vacuum modulator on a 1985 M1009 Cuckfee. This is also applicable to any K5 blazer or any square body that has the turbo 400 transmission. Starting from the passenger side, you're gonna step under the vehicle and you are going to find on the transmission, that is the vacuum modulator. You will want to replace this typically if you have shift problems. Now, this is a vacuum line. In the case of the 6.2 liter diesel, the vacuum comes from an actual vacuum pump uh, from the engine itself. Make sure that there's no cracks on this rubber. Uh, this is a pretty common problem. Uh, in my case, it actually is uh, perfect, but I do plan to replace it anyways because it does seem to be a bit soft from perhaps motor oil leaks, uh, transmission leaks. So pull that to the side kick that over and then you're going to uh, remove this bolt which actually has a retaining bracket onto this uh, vacuum modulator. This tube moves over to the side like I said. Now you get this loosened up here and you'll see that there is a bracket. I know it's a bit greasy under here. Uh, let's see if we can get this out. So removing that bracket falls out. Now this should be able to slide on out. Grab hold of the vacuum modulator like this, give it a slight twisting motion, it should pop right on out. Now more than likely your o-ring is going to be stuck in there as you can see. Try not to get any dust or debris in there. Put that over to the side there, clean your hands off as best you can, and then fish out that o-ring just like that. And now get your new parts together. Here's the new vacuum modulator that we are using. As you can see, it's actually adjustable. I would highly recommend upgrading to one of these. Uh, in, my, in my experience, they're actually about the same price as a stock one anyways. Um, from, the, from the factory, these are actually tuned to the same specifications as the original. But as you can see, there is a small set screw in there. Use a tiny flathead screwdriver and you can twist this in or out, which can change your shift points. Just put a little bit of ATF on the outside of this ring and then you're essentially just gonna slide it back in and do everything in reverse. If they give you this um, right angle piece, uh, just cut off a small section. You don't need the right angle piece in the case of my vehicle. I can't speak for yours in particular, but all you need is a straight section, and then you can install. After putting a little bit of ATF on the ring, you're just gonna slide that back in like you did. The O-ring essentially rests right there on the side of the transmission, and then you're gonna reinstall your bracket and bolt. So I cut that small piece out, I already installed it, and basically just pop this right back on. It's a little tricky, I can't really see from here. And that's it. Your vacuum modulator is fully installed. If this helped you, please rate it, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks.